Hello, good, anytime soon, whatever, wherever you are. My name is Kira Falco and I'm your host and your void with a voice. Here's to entertain you and may or may not go off a tangent and start yapping about. <sighs> Today's yapping topic uh, is a little bit uh, on a different side. Because here's the thing, like, I always, like, sometimes I have to, like, talk about, like, the stuff that is, like, um, happening around about me. It's, it's a little bit, um, on the, like, the, I guess to say, like, unfortunate side, or, like, on the unlucky side, or, like, on various other things that you can mention about it. But also, at the same time, it's, like, so what? Like, like I'm not kidding. Like, it, like, it's actually not a big issue, but also it's a big issue, and it's, it's a very difficult subject and that particular topic that i want to talk about today is as you all guys already can see is it um it's about my medical issues that are happening around me all like happening in me <laughs> not around me uh sorry phrasing phrasing <laughs> so yeah like uh if sometimes like i always like will be uh a little bit sometimes will mentioning about like this um very like very um, sticky situations that I in um, that is uh, more or less particularly all about is that I have a dizziness issues or like the ability to unable to focus but also in the same time it's like not bad enough you know to be like a very debilitating like, issues uh, those kind of things uh, I, I'm trying to use fancy word here of course as you already can hear me but yeah, like generally, I, I I want to say like um, when I'm in streaming, that I was sometimes would like start over the story again, over and again, and again, and again. So I want to have like this video, like at least like talk about it. So next time, if I want to talk about it, I just like, hey, just watch this video. <laughs> yeah. So like I always like in the stream, I talk about like my medical issues, but. You know, like if I just keep repeating, uh, like talk about that issues over and over again, sometimes some context might like just move away or like I'm just like talk too much about it or like people just get bored. Like, hey, here you go. Start talking about these things again. So like I, I do want to like let people like knows about this kind of things that actually does happening to quite a lot of people. Uh, and I'm actually one of the victim of it, sadly. And that is like what most of the doctor called me uh, in a way is like I'm more or less like a high functioning like disabled person or you can call it like half disabled persons because uh, I have a particular conditions that basically uh, render me not bad enough to be disabled. I basically have trouble concentrate and but not well enough to be normal. That that that's one of the issues that I kind of have. So it's it's a little bit difficult to talk about. Um, I have some things. Is like basically my ears have some issues. At first, I I'm not sure like what the heck is happening to me. I just know that I have some like um, focusing issues. So I go to see a doctor. They say like maybe uh, I just like uh, depressed or like. Um, you know, like a little bit like on the mental issue side. So maybe I got burnout, I got depressed, I got this and that, yeah, that stuff. They they literally immediately the first thing they they like list out is just like I have like variety of like mental issue, maybe, maybe. Like that is their first conclusion. <laughs> and gas like a shit out of me, they keep telling me, Oh, you have mental issues. Oh, you have mental issues. Uh, but here's the thing, like most people would talk to me. Or like even I know my uh you know like self evaluate myself enough to know that I am the world most positive person in the world. <laughs> I can literally get stabbed. Like, oh, I get stabbed. Uh, I guess I can go to doctor. Finally, I can go see doctors against stitches. I guess <laughs> something like that. Um. So generally, I have this kind of attitude. Uh, some people actually doesn't really like that, that kind of attitude. To be honest. Um, but yeah, I, I have that kind of like attitude to all like a lot of things. Like even now I'm talking about this, I'm very approaching it in a very way that uh, you kind of like can think about like, you know, like a person that show you a very colorful rock and then just 
tell you uh then my perspective is like it's basically my perspective on my current situation is just like a very colorful rock that i i really like want to like talk about because for one thing it's not like a too big of issues but at the same time it's a very like difficult issues to talk about because a lot of people have like suffering from this is um very uh unfortunate because again like i say you're not actually like bad enough to be a disabled or like bad enough to let people like visibly see you you have issues or like you um have like you know uh unable to like function properly you still technically can you kind of like learn the ability to like live with it but also at the same time you are not actually well enough to like keep up with normal pacing of normal people so you 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 are not bad enough to be very bad but also at the same time you're not well enough to be uh normal that is the world most unfortunate situations <laughs> because you can't even list yourself as a disabled person because most people would have what i have uh doctor would just call that uh, those kind of issues that i have minor inconvenience but the problem is my minor inconvenience is not just one thing i have more than five plus tiny debuff with me that kind of makes me a little bit on a special case side uh but if i really want to go to like uh register for being a disabled person even i manage to register as a disabled person and get my like um get my uh record in my like personal id that say like this guy this dude is a disabled person it doesn't have any benefit for me at all because here's the thing funny fun fact it's like even you manage to register as a disabled person it's not necessary you are going to get support from either from government or like from many like charity like systems because uh there's a there's a lot more more unfortunate people like i say my condition is not like bad enough to be very bad but also not good enough to be well enough to function normally uh it's 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 again like you when you hear this you're already like already frustrated like then is it good or bad just 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 tell me this is good or bad kind of bad but at the same time doesn't really affect my ability to do too many stuff i just can't do stuff for too long and i use up my energy really really fast and then i'll get distracted or like get confused or like have no idea what the heck i'm doing or like my world is spinning around it's just generally like that because i i am born with all this thing so i already learned how to like adapt or like lift with it the problem is because i'm so adapt to it now i'm starting to get older my body's starting to unable to catch up to those adaptations and i'm starting to have even more and more of those kind of like debuff effect starting to affect me which is not really a good thing because it does use quite a lot of willpower to and mental power to actually function yeah um by now i think you guys are already like curious like you keep saying like you are like not well well enough like what the heck is wrong with you then um here's the thing it might sound ridiculous but i'm born with all my sense out of whack yeah just that not big not small but enough to give you a one-two punch enough almost daily and you basically need to spend uh more energy than most people uh and you still can act normal you still can function normally it's just that when you do specific stuff you're technically not functioning normally uh because like this thing my first thing i can like list it is my ears um i'm born with a vestibular loop that's what the doctors suspect because they already mri the shit out of me uh after they keep uh, gaslighting me that i have mental issues and then until like i keep telling them no it's not no it's not and then they, they'd be like ah all right send you to like therapy hospital uh, a different hospital my first hospital basically just still insist back then like still insist that i keep I, i'm having like uh, mental issues about this kind of things but uh to be honest it's not so until like i go to like the physiotherapy um hospital and then they test me out on physically ears functions uh how i can like um control my balance and then they found out that this guy looks super normal but also same time super abnormal 
like like they can detect like multiple things like it's like you know like sometimes you you like um when it comes to ear issues it's very hard to tell that you have issues or not that's why the doctor keeps saying i'm thinking about it uh, I, i'm just like think too much about it uh it's because you need to play a game of bingo if you if you don't have the money for all like the um the severe sign enough that you need to use the MRI machine to take a look inside your head. So all they can do is just play a bingo game. So they would keep asking you questions. You can answer them, of course, always truthfully and try your best to answer them. And they will sort of like uh, have this, you know, like checklist and then see they get a bingo or not. If they get a bingo of like, uh, oh, you have Meniere disease, oh, you have this, oh, you have that, uh, those kind of things will happen. But the problem is, again, like because I have an unfortunate circumstances of born with it, so I live with it for so long, I just assume everything is normal. <laughs> and yeah, because I assume everything is normal, I just like live my life with it until like, I have some issues that say like, have you ever had this issue or not uh, before or not? And then I just keep saying no. Or like you have like this kind of things or that kind of things and then like, yeah I kind of have it or like kind of not have it I, I'm not really sure like every single question is just like I'm not sure or like yeah I'm I'm, I'm fine with it I guess I might feel some spinning but still I, I I'm fine like this is the reason why the doctor think I'm actually having mental issues <laughs> because like I I don't have the telltale sign of almost anything but also same time I have the severe effect of like some certain thing. But usually you need to get like enough bing uh, enough checklist to get a bingo. But it's weird that I have like the checklist of something that should be flagged a long time ago. But also same time, there's a lots of like checklists that supposed to have that uh, that I don't really have it. So they have no idea what the heck is wrong with me. So they they keep telling me that maybe is uh, maybe it's just Meniere disease. Like uh, some people can actually gain temporarily Manila disease so so here you go i'm going to give you a little bit of a uh, medical lessons um there's something called in this world called a near disease which uh is something that your ears actually have the cochlea and like your balancing organ and your eardrum and the three tiny little bones that actually can you know like help you to do uh, helps you to look here and do balancing and then dampening the very very loud noise that can like burst your freaking eardrum um, those kind of things uh, and not to get your brain shaken and stuff like that um, and the cochlea actually is like helping you to uh, absorb quite a lot of like vibrations uh, in your body is actually quite a fascinating organ but still again uh, because of mineral disease, you have issues with the inside, you know, they can absorb like shockwave because they, they have like um, water inside. And then so does your balancing organ inside your ears. The problem is uh, when you have mineral disease, you have a little bit overabundance of water. And then your body do not know how to regulate it properly. So it kind of blows it up. So when it blows it up, it will affect quite a lot of um, stuff. Uh, can affect your hearing, uh, can damage your hearing. Uh, that, that's the worst part. Can damage your hearing, uh, it will give you tinnitus. And the most annoying thing of all, technically tinnitus is annoying too, but uh, for me, that is the bane of my existence. Um, you get vertigo. What is vertigo is very very easy to explain what vertigo is it is your ability to control your balance you your balance default setting out of whack it's like um it, in game it turn stick drift yes you have stick drift in your brain that is the worst kind of stick drift you can have because like uh the worst kind of stick drift you can have is like you see that nothing is moving but you felt like your body is moving it's worse than having a camera slowly tilted to the left you felt like your body is tilted to the left but nothing is actually happening to you that's the worst thing that can happen to you and how do you actually like simulate it even without having Meniere disease 
um i'm not actually telling you guys to do it but i think anyone in their life actually they will try it and uh that will like some someone happen to them like in the game uh you know like, either like children's game or like this and that yeah that stuff or maybe i'm too old like that kind of game doesn't exist anymore um you try to sit in the office chair and just keep spinning maybe like 20 times or 30 times in a row non-stop and then suddenly stopped and try to stand up or you can just you know just, just try to try to attempt to stand up or just just stop and then feel your surrounding everything is spinning right even though you stopped yeah that that is that is vertigo <laughs> That is gosh dang vertigo and that you have to do this kind of things to actually experience it and people with Meniere disease and what I actually have experience it without even doing that. That is very bullshit. <laughs> it's very annoying. And then what I have is actually worst. <laughs> I know some people actually like um also have what I have. It's not exactly um having the same issues I have depends on how like it happens it actually uh vary from different people to people it seems that I actually like affect my balancing issues worse than most other issues so uh, I'm not sure I'm blessed on anything because some people get deaf from it so deafness from it so yeah yeah it's it's it's, it's a very um, complex situation but again like yeah you have to do quite a lot of like bingo tests to um really like know what kind of issues you have because i'm already used to my life with the constant ringing and the constant like imbalance thingy but i not really know it's actually not being uh i'm it's not like i'm being clumsy it's just i'm i flat out really don't have a sense of balance i i never know those were an issues i thought i was just clumsy to be honest even my family thought i was just clumsy so we never really know like we ha I have like this kind of issue. So the doctors, when they ask me uh, any question related to me having like fall down or like some like um, balance issues, uh, I haven't fallen for quite a long time. I maybe sprang a few ankle back in the days or every single time I almost fall, I always uh, manage to recover back my balance. So it's not really a like actual fall like maybe i i should say i fall but i managed to like, recover my balance i should tell them that back then it's a idiot decision of me just te telling them uh, no i never fall, fell in my life because i never really like hit the ground <laughs> but i did fell and then recover back myself i just never tell them that fact <laughs> and yeah like so they always like think that ah, this guy maybe he's lying or maybe he's thinking too much or maybe his mental issues and then they just keep gaslighting me that I have mental issues and then like ah oh, shit and then they'd be like all right all right we believe you you have Meniere disease here's some medications and then take take it and leave it uh take it and leave and then I was like oh oh finally some medications maybe can help me I took it holy shit I start to unable to walk afterward <laughs> I'm not sure what the heck happened to be honest the moment I took the medications, it felt like um, my footstep become more lighter, to be honest. Back then, I always felt my footstep is like really heavy. But after I take the medications, I, my footstep just felt really, really light. That is like the Meniere disease medications from what I learned from doctors. Maybe some doctors that is like expert in this thing, they can tell me uh, more detail what the medication does apparently this medication open up your blood flow in the brain and then improve the circulations uh the blood flow circulations and uh end result it will improve your sort of like water regulation inside your ears so it doesn't blow it doesn't get bloated so when it doesn't get bloated you have a decent uh your brain uh, your ears will start functioning normally those kind of things that can prevent malaria disease also at the same time there's like three types of Meniere disease. Uh, technically, I, I categorized into three types, not, not the doctor's one. There's three things that you can, uh, three situations you can get Meniere disease. One is your diet. If you take a lot of, uh, eat a lot of mineral, like salty stuff, this and that, yeah, that stuff. Because salt, personally, they can absorb a lot of water content. So if you eat a lot of salt and also drink a lot of water, 
your body would have way too much water and then your ears have difficulty regulate those water, hence a temporarily minor disease. Long as you take care of your diet and not drink too much water, surprisingly, um, as an Asian, that, that word is a very, um, a very taboo word that I can hear. <laughs> but yeah, so it's to drink less water. That's bullshit. <laughs> But yeah, like uh, they keep telling me that kind of advice because like usually uh, the second and third uh, kind of situation you would get mental disease is A, uh, is B, you get older or C, you get an accident and then your ears have some issues afterward. Because I never get an accident, so C is technically something that rule out. And then B, you normally have to be old age. Some people actually can like have this kind of issues at young age too. Like when you get old, of course, some of your like organ functioning is like is like not total failure. It's like slowly not working that well. Hence, you will get a ringing in your ears or like some vertigo as you get older. Those kind of things. But I'm I'm a young and strong boy. And I'm not a boy anymore, but still, yeah, I'm a young and strong young person. So they just put me on the A category, just telling me, yeah, just just watch out your diet, take this medication, it can help you. And then while at the same time, like just watch your diet and then it will recover. But I keep taking the medications and I just felt like my feet just getting lighter and lighter. And it just doesn't work the medications and then i am like taking care of like what kind of food i eat i eat like less salty stuff this and that other stuff it's not helping and then i ask the doctors again they see like oh because our uh, like it, the the medication like mineral disease medication you take is actually like local medications that's like the official medications that actually much more potent you can try to buy that yourself and then try to like see if it actually helps you or not and then i'll be like holy shit you're giving me a faulty <laughs> faulty medications <laughs> like not like faulty medication it technically works it's just like less effective but yeah um so i bought the medications that is like the more like oomph one like the authenticated one called beta cert uh, beta cert or beta cert, uh, it depends on how you pronounce that thing. But yeah, I, I take that medications, and lo and behold, I felt like my head is lifted from the constant. Uh, I, 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 it's really hard to describe. It's not exactly dizzy, but it's more like. You know, your sense of direction is completely out of whack, and everything. You can't sleep because like you always like feel like your head is like not you and then your body is like not you because you keep like receiving false data into your brain and then you know you're not moving but your body keep telling you you're moving this and that and stuff it get really frustrated around that time that i'm still not really that used to it so um it's like back then i don't I, i'm living fine with it because like i just assume this is normal and then People tell me that, uh, and then the doctors tell me, and my friends tell me that those are not normal, and then I, I'll start to notice it a little bit more. So it's kind of like annoyed me very much. But yeah, like after taking my first tablet, not first tablet, you know, like first first pill of uh, beta cert, I felt like holy shit, my head is lifted. I can think again. Yay! Is it's better than that. Back in the days, they assumed that I have depression. Give me like a uh, medication to relax myself. <laughs> but yeah, it's generally like that. It's like even better than like those kind of things. But here's the thing: like after like an hour or two, I was like, I'm hungry. Uh, since I'm feeling better, I can walk properly now. I should try to go to like the rest. You know, like those those kind of like a uh, stall, food stall that near me to. It technically, it's a restaurant, so like to eat some food because I'm hungry. But I know this one thing the moment I try to stand up, I already feel like my leg is a little bit weak, weird. And the moment I get out of my house, I feel like a newborn baby just start learning how to walk. Like, holy shit, my head is shaking non stop. And then my leg lost, almost lost all the strength. I, I basically just wobble myself to the restaurant and I have no idea 
What the heck happened? Maybe it's the medications. Like, I told the doctor about it. And then the doctor said, no, even it has like a side effect. It shouldn't be that one. And then everyone is like super curious about how the heck this thing happened to me. They thought I have some heart issue or I have some brain damage. So they, they give me like a CT scan of my brain. Thankfully, nothing happened to my brain. But they check my heart. Man, nothing happened to my heart. They check my blood. There's nothing happened to my blood. It's very weird. So they would think like, yep, it's guaranteed. I think it's definitely you have some mental issues. But I tell them, no, I don't have it. The medication they gave me is bullshit. <laughs> and yeah, and then like finally, I'd be like, all right, all right, since you now have like walking issues, uh, we should also like send you to like physiotherapy. Maybe they have like better equipment to check you and stuff. So um, I'm from uh, uh, I'm from ENT or you can call it like, the ear, ear, nose, throat doctors. Uh, technically, they, they specialize on those. So we call them ENT um, and um, they send me to a second hospital that, that and then that that is not fully ended of my first hospital journey and basically i'm just accumulating adding more and more different hospital visit so um that would be my second hospital and then the physiotherapy hospital um, they decided to go for spinal first but after they hear my story um they said like, maybe they should go for neuro and then uh they they put me in neuro and uh, they put me in physio, uh, physiotherapy sessions uh, to test me out, uh, test my balance, this and that, that stuff. And then they also uh, go for like audiology. Uh, audiology, they let me sit in a chair, spin me around, try to test me stuff again, this and that, that stuff. Uh, ask me to do some exercise. They realized the more they test on me, the weirder it gets. Because if I didn't take any med medication, I actually, f I, I, I'm actually very fine. I look like a very normal person at glance. Even like if they give me like activity, activity like uh, try to challenge me on the physical movement, this and that, yeah, that stuff. I pass almost everything in flying color until they do furthermore investigations. They realize that, yeah, like um, when I do some certain like focusing tasks, like trying to stare at something move my body uh, try to sway my body around or like try to stand something and try to move my head and like try to walk at the same time they notice my body just become robot and start jittering around like those kind of like steampunk machine something like that but uh, they even i actually didn't really notice it until like they record a video and then tell me about it because i completely did not felt that way and they say like, yeah, there's definitely something wrong with you. And then in the audiology side, they actually keep testing me. Um, they say like, yeah, you kind of have and don't have issues at the same time. That's weird. Like normally like you, you would like have like loss of hearing this and that. Yeah, that stuff if you have any other disease. So uh, they, they still keep checking like, do I really have any disease or not? My ears are actually quite sensitive. I can actually hear quite lots of frequency. So I don't have any hearing loss. So. Even I have a disease, and it's not like the bad one, you know? It, it's not like bad enough that uh, affect my hearing, at least, that they told me. Um, and then they try to like test my balance and stuff, like how my eyes can focus on stuff. Um, they feel like, um, yeah, there's not any issues there. But, uh, so they try to use machine to test out, like, you know, they, they try to like move your head suddenly to the left or right. And then they have to use a machine to test your eyes because like here's the thing like you can pretend to be having issues but you can't lie to a machine the machine can actually seize you uh your natural reactions and stuff and this and that yeah that stuff they can really really like detect this and that yeah that stuff because at that point they kind of like suspect i'm kind of like just pretend to have issues to get out of work or something like that I i'm not sure i'm not sure is it real or not uh, again like um a lot of doctors always have to have a little bit of skepticism that is that guy just thinking too much about it or he's actually just faking it because at my point is like i have and don't have a lot of things in the same time 
So it's really confusing that know that my condition is is this or that. It's weird. I have the telltale sign of something, but also same time I look completely normal. <laughs> so they keep testing, and then they found out. Yeah, yeah, I actually have Meniere disease, but why don't I have the telltale sign of Meniere disease? And they keep like listing, like asking, try to investigate like my situation. They they found out that actually maybe. I'm always thinking like everything is normal for me. Technically, they are not normal at all. I've been living a scam in my life. <laughs> I just practically like live my entire life think everyone experiences the same thing that I do. But actually, in reality, it's not. So once I learn about that, you know, like those kind of persons that like they, they are very fit, they are very healthy. And then the next thing they do like full body checkup, they, they found out they have cancer, maybe like a second or third stage. And then they used to be like very healthy. And then the next day you immediately see them like collapsing and everything. And like, you know, like the health is just basically just immediately went downward spiral. So technically that kind of happened to me. I, my walking become worse. My, uh, my hearing become worse because I become more sensitive about like more aware and more sensitive about the stuff that has actually happened to me. It's not normal. So like those kind of things like start happening to me become like worse and worse. My body started unable to adapt to it. I can't sleep this and that. Yeah, that stuff is driving me crazy and everything. But yeah, I'm still doing a lot of like a uh, hospital visit and this and that. Yeah, that stuff because on weekly too, because they found my conditions is so weird and they keep investigating because still in the same time, I have a lot of telltale signs of having venereal disease, but also the same time I have half of the thing that mineral disease should have but i don't have <laughs> they're just confused <laughs> so they do also like think that maybe something wrong with my brain uh or maybe there's something wrong with um my ability to function or i have some or i legitimately have some mental issue that you know like there's like some people who have mental issues that think they're sick and then they do manifest do do have the ability to manifest some of the issues out like uh fun fact like you can actually like not really fake your pregnancy you kind of like can believe yourself have pregnancy so much to the point your your body actually have like all the pregnancy sign but you actually don't have a baby but your tummy is like very bloated and then and everything uh, basically like everything a pregnant woman should have but you don't really have a baby. Your brain is just tricking you that you have a baby. So they assume that maybe I also have that kind of thing, but for like my ears or my balance thingy. But the more they kind of like find out, the more like, no, no people like should have like that kind of like reflex or things like that. And then they, they just keep investigating. And then they'd be like, all right, we gave up. Here's a letter. Go to your first hospital, tell them, to do a freaking MRI in your head. We have no idea what's wrong with you. We know there's something wrong with you, but we have no idea what the heck is wrong with you. <laughs> uh, and then finally I went to like the first um hospital again and then like I uh, gave them the letter. This is the letter of recommendation from the second hospital, like the physiotherapy hospital. They say they they're really at their wit's end. They, they, they know I really have some issues. They really have to take a check. Is it I have a near disease? Yes or no? Because it's a very weird situation for me. Uh, and the doctor's like fascinating. They have never seen a person with this case before. Like only have half of the near disease symptoms. And suffering from like the most severe one, but also same time uh, on on like the severe level, but also in the same time, I don't have any hearing loss. That like, usually someone suffering uh, like the vertigo at my level, they should already have like a certain degree of hearing loss. I don't have it, and I still can move quite fine sometimes. And sometimes I can't, sometimes I can. Really, de really depends. So it's it's very weird. So they, they sent me back to the first hospital. I give them the letter and then they finally arrange like, am I? That'd be a, ah, fine. So it's not mental. We'll, we'll do am I? Fine. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, 
they really kind of a little bit like the dogs just keep seeing me so many times to the point they, they kind of like really reluctant to like do me an mi because it's just wasting their resources they i think they just like strongly believe i really have some mental issues or i have um you know like sometimes some people just like very like over self-diagnose that issues this and that yeah that stuff they think i'm those kind of patients maybe I, I, i'm not really sure what what the heck is uh, happening around like in the hospital because i always uh because i'm going to a public hospital i don't really have insurance so i went to public hospital and i always see different doctors i'm not seeing the same doctors again and again so every single time i visit it's a different doctors so maybe because like every single time it's different so they have they always like look at the report it's just one doctor said i might have mental issues they just assume that i have mental issues who knows? Um, yeah. But they finally give me a MRI scan. And then uh, after wait like a few months, and then finally they got like the report out, this and that, yeah, that stuff. I finally go to see the doctors and then uh, and then give me the result, explain to me what is what what's wrong with me. The first thing they tell me is like, you don't have mineral disease. Like, oh, I don't have mineral disease then. That's good news, isn't it? Uh, and we found out you have this then. Oh, I have this. So does it have anything to do with me? Nah, it doesn't do too much. It doesn't do anything at all. And then I'll be like, then I don't need... No, they didn't tell me like it doesn't... Uh, it's not the main culprit or anything. It just tell me that I have this. You have this thing uh, called vestibular loot. And then say, like, oh, I have something called vestibular loot. So, do I still need medication? And they just shake their head. No, you don't need medication anymore. You're not. You're not. You. You don't have any disease. And say, like, oh, then that's all. Yes, that's all. And then, okay. Um, the second hospital did tell me to get like the MRI result. Do you guys have the CD or anything? No. We, we will email them the result. Uh, okay. And then I just go to the hospital again. And then I show them the paper I gave them, which they told me they didn't receive anything from the first hospital. <laughs> they want this uh, the disc to actually see, like, do I really have my disease or what the heck is wrong with my head? And then I bought the report and gave it to them. Basically, just a written report. So I give it to them, they read it truly, thoroughly, and then they realize this thing. Did they tell you about this thing? Yeah, they did tell me it's not Manila disease because my brain is actually a, very, a little bit very dizzy that time. So my brain is not really functioning that well, but I at least understand, know that they didn't really explain to me like what the thing they detect on me is. Um, so they say like, you know what this thing is? I don't know. The doctor didn't tell me that? Yeah, they didn't tell me that. This is the main culprit of everything you know. And I went, what? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so, they completely neglected to tell me, like, what the heck is this thing? And then uh, the other doctors, because they are not actual ear doctors, they are physiotherapy doctors. At least they know a little bit uh, because like they are, they are from the audiology. So they at least know uh, enough to tell me like what this thing can do. It's called vestibular loop and mine is already at the type 2 stage. A lot of people can have it actually. Uh, if you have like some dizzy issues 24-7, uh, you can go to take a little bit of MRI scan. Might, may or may not. If it's not blood issues, if it's like vertigo, then may may not is actually from that but the thing is i actually got like much more severe symptom of it so again like vestibular loop is a very like um particular um issues is basically something like a hardware issues but also same time it's not hardware issues uh it's your the blood vessel in your ears that supply your blood flow and everything yada yada stuff it's a little bit longer than most people and if it's Type 1 then is just normal, abnormality. Like sometimes some people have like some plus minus a little bit uh, longer 
issues but type 2 is like you already have a certain length that is like abnormal so also depends on how uh which kind of length uh you're talking about like how they are going to loop how they looped around your ears and this and that yeah their stuff it can affect on various different things so everyone with uh vestibular loop have different issues is very annoying <laughs> some people might like me have very bad vertigo issues some people might have very bad hearing issues some people literally have nothing at all they just have a very long blood vessel that doesn't really like hinder them at all so it's a very random jackpot if you really have it and apparently i got the bad jackpot so uh, aside from that they also like slowly discovered that all my senses is basically out of whack i taste differently uh my nose have some um allergy issues that i breathe less than most people because the nose is basically clogged most 24 7 and because of my eye is already like short sinus uh at born so that they, they they are sure they not like 100 sure at least you can say like 90 percent sure that i am born with all my senses kind of screwed up so my eyes my ears my every other things have like some tiny tiny defect so that many like senses defect actually uh make me a little bit much more different than how normal uh, human functions uh for other people they would have like one or two of those kind of things but i have all of those kind of things at least my sense of touch is not screwed up so sadly uh, all those things like tiny debuff like stack up to each other's it gives me even more debuff why more debuff is because um it does give me some mental issues not 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 depressions not burnout uh neurological issues so like when i say i can't walk properly it's because like everyone have like that default balancing setting my default balancing setting is basically out of whack so it's kind of like sometimes just point my balance in the other uh, in another directions that's why when i walk sometimes i flinch flinch like uh, a weird ass person so yeah sadly um those kind of thing issues also like i i might have something called like a fake dizziness in uh mix in between my real dizziness so it's basically uh, my vertigo actually will so like make me a little bit like mentally fatigued and dizzy and then i'll start getting dizzy from it but sadly sometimes i have actual dizziness but also same time i have fake dizziness basically it's just my brain tricking myself that i'm dizzy so uh, that's uh, another thing that kind of like debuff me so i have multiple debuff from breathing issues from uh hearing issues from balancing issues from sight uh, my my eyes having issues and even my taste having issues so everything i do like the moment you have some slight balance issue you have to use much more effort to actually move your body and everything this is a very um unprecedented issues because like it, the doctors become like even more fascinated at my situation because there's not a lot of people have this kind of jackpot when i say jackpot i mean like jackpot of all tiny debuffed <laughs> and then even further develop into a neurological debuff is is a very like fascinated case in some sense um i think i've been yapping a little bit too long to the point that uh some some if anyone who is actually a doctor they, they might actually say yeah this is actually a very interesting thing because yeah it's a very interesting thing uh, funny thing is like uh, every single time I go to see a doctor, they do give me like a mental uh, mentality check to see that I'm depressed or not. They they found out weird. I sound uh the my my checklist sound depressed. Uh, technically I'm just the kind of person who not like a doomer is more like I already understand the reality of my situation, so it's like yeah, it's, it, it cannot be fixed. So yeah, I'm just gonna live with it. But you say I'm going to uh, am I pissed about it? Yes, I am pissed about it. <laughs> Do I feel useless? I am useless. <laughs> what do you think about it? So like they they always thought like you're such a cheerful person, but why all your answers is a little bit on the depressing side? <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe I'm just a person who 
look at reality? Who knows? Who knows? A lot of people already uh, keep telling me, uh, a lot of my friends and family, they keep saying, saying like, I'm a very like, the way I answer stuff is super negative, but also um, for some reason, I'm, I'm, I'm also same time very positive person. <laughs> Maybe it's because I am like facing the negative side. So I'm a very positive person, who knows? <laughs> Or I'm double negative and then I become positive that way. <laughs> By the way, yeah, it's also because of that. It, it, it is a little bit um, on a very uh, difficult thing to talk about. Um, that's that's why I say like my my situation is a very weird situation. So I'm not exactly a full on disabled, but also at the same time I'm not exactly like full on able because of my debuff they are not exactly the thing that can like turn me uh there's there's no like one exact medication that can help me or like one exact surgery that can help me because mine is like multiple small ass thing so even i can fix one i still got three like those kind of issues so thankfully there's quite a lot, like more is they spend literally like three years to investigate my issues. Like all this thing I told you about is the span of three years tossing me to different hospital, tossing me to different department, keep uh, speculating, keep thinking, keep uh, gaslighting me and keep ungaslighting me and keep uh, Training me, do this, do that, you know, like I make me like super duper confused. Like what the heck is wrong with me, to be honest, like to the point that, oh, I finally know what is wrong with me. It's a very fascinated journey. And if anyone wants to listen to a more detailed journey of how I managed to get through uh, what I am now, uh, yeah, I, I can try, I can try, but the thing is like the uh, i really want to like emphasize a little bit uh that is ah. go to see a doctor is a bitch <laughs> uh, the process um um the entire process is a bitch <laughs> um yeah, like again, like it's it's a lot of guesswork, this and that, yeah, that stuff. And funny thing is, like, uh, the doctor and me also realized this thing that my vestibular loop is from my blood vessel, so it kind of affects me that way. But I still can have Meniere disease, and a vestibular loop can uh, exert symptoms similar to a person with Meniere disease, but here's the thing, here's the kickers. That thing, uh, vestibular loop is something that uh, affect you physically to have like such symptom. And vestibular loop is your inside ears have issues regulating water. So I can have both in the same time. So they say like maybe like around the time I'm at the most severe is I have temporarily Meniere disease and with my own debuff, it kind of set off way too many things to the point that I lost my ability to, um, you know, like control myself properly. And it was because of that, yeah. Is again, unfortunate, but yeah. The thing is like uh my current situation is what they call even the doctors like sometimes like talk about this they kind of a bit frustrated at my situations not frustrated they can't fix it is frustrated that my situations is in a quite difficult situations i'm what they call a, a high functioning disabled or a half disabled to in, in a very easy way to call it um i'm not bad enough like losing armor like or like losing my hearing or like completely loss of balance not bad enough uh, like them uh, not bad enough to become a disabled but also same time because of my multiple tiny debuffs stacking together i'm not exactly well enough to compete with a normal person 
So in a lot of working situation, I'm just aren't going to cut out to be able to like catch up to anyone pacing at all because I'm just going to keep losing focus because I'm using extra focus just to control my body in the first place and I still have to use those residual focus that I have left to do whatever stuff I have. This is why normally I kind of like start yapping about because I basically in autopilot mode so I'm just reacting to stuff at a at a moment so I'm not really I'm not really like have like full control of myself but at the same time when I'm autopilot I'm actually functioning quite normally but also at the same time I'm not really functioning normally <laughs> uh, it's, it's a very like peculiar situation so yeah maybe someday someday I, I can get help or things like that because like here's the thing like if I really try to, the doctors doctors actually can sort of like write down recommendation letter because they already like fully like un unreveal uh, unreveal my um my multiple tiny issues. They they can actually write a letter and then let me register as a disabled person. But that's the thing, um, uh, I because I kind of can function. It's not like I can't function at all. I won't get any benefit even I I am a disabled person. Uh, I even I am like a uh, registered as a disabled person. All the benefit I get is just free disabled parking <laughs> and a card for telling people that I'm disabled. Just that I I will not get any benefit from it at, at all. So uh, it's stupid. Yeah, in a way, it's stupid. It's like I uh, if if I'm in like a like fully disabled persons i'm actually on the least priority list no matter what kind of situation happens if another disabled person even missing a finger they technically outrank me <laughs> if i have a, if i have to compete with them on disability list <laughs> so yeah it's, 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 it's a very stupid situation so why do i need to like uh scratch my record of being a normal human just 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 for getting almost no benefit at all so uh, it's, it's a complete useless thing it's a useless card for me ah <laughs> uh, yeah then that is the particular situations that i'm kind of stuck with so yeah thank you very much for watching and as always stay healthy stay safe until next time Stay tuned on my next yapping. Bye-bye. <laughs>